good afternoon, I guess, to all of your sunshiny faces. It is just about a little bit afternoon. We are headed out to the grocery stores because my dad and Jack went to a like football thingy registration, but it was also they were doing like a competition, which was pass, punch, and kick. So it was how far you could throw the ball, how far you could pass the ball, or no, wait, pass, punt, <laughs> how far you could punt the ball, and how far you could kick the ball. So Jack won first place for the 103 pound which is the team he plays for um which he might move though guys <laughs> um, it's not determined where exactly he's playing but his age puts him at that and weight puts him at that um poundage or whatever it is so that's like the age group he's playing in but he won it for that so i don't know where he just put his trophy probably back upstairs again <laughs> for a second time i made him go get it a second time he just put it upstairs and then he had to bring it back down so yeah but maybe i'll show you guys that later but he ended up winning it it's got even like written on there it says like um the pound and like the, the you know award for the year and everything like that so it was cute and it was the first one he's ever actually won because he has i guess one or two trophies from flag football but they were just like participation trophies he actually won this one yeah we are headed out to the grocery store though this morning which is probably going to take forever in line because they're so like busy during the the day like on the weekends that there's like 12 lanes open and they're all like packed full so it'll be interesting but that is where we're headed for this morning or afternoon so guys this is a haul from getting back from the grocery stores as you guys can tell the majority of it was produce however i don't know guys what's going on over here with this is most of my dad's stuff <laughs> Um, that's the cereal and the pop tarts and fruit grain bars, butter, peanut butter waffles, sun chips. Um, the Cheez Its are mine only because I normally have like one snack a week and that's them, along with the blue corn chips, which I'll have like cheese and salsa kind of stuff or avocado or whatever in there, um, as well. So I think the total for everything was just about right around it, like 150 or so. But there was several things this week that actually ended up probably close to like $50 worth of stuff I ended up buying that was like stock up stuff that I won't ha have to buy again. Um, for example, the time was one of those things. This was I think 350, but this is a huge gigantic thing of time, which we don't go through it quite that often, but we were out and I love Caputo's um, like bulk item stuff because it's super cheap like normally i have to buy like six times this much at aldi or whatever it would be um to get that amount which aldi doesn't sell time though so <laughs> but in the size that they normally have i'd probably have to buy several of those to get that that amount so that was one of the things also these rayovac batteries they were on sale for ten dollars and there is a four dollar rebate that i'm going to send in for from menard so they're all, they were only six bucks but that's for 48 batteries which is a ton so again another thing to stock up on and then also the uh, olive oil, that was $12.99, I believe, for like the big thing of olive oil. So we won't have to buy olive oil for a very long time. And then also, too, we got um, this big thing of Charmin, which lasted us just about a month. And it was only 8 bucks, so that's actually a pretty good price So um, for lasting us, I guess, that long. And then, too, my dad got paper plates, which I don't know how much they are. But for the most part, um, everything else was like a normal kind of, I guess, shopping trip. Um, but so we got the water, the paper towel, or the toilet paper. These, I actually found one last, last, last one at all these of the Pingo breadcrumbs, um, which I didn't even know they carried them, but they had one last one there, which I bought because I'm almost out of Pingo bread, all breadcrumbs also. So that was kind of another one of those things. I got two lentil soups for myself and the cheese, cheese it crackers. Then like I was saying, you guys kind of saw that stuff in the cereal. And another stock up too was on the spaghetti. These were only 69 cents and they were a limit of six. They said they had other types of variety, but the only one that was listed in the ad was the spaghetti that they had there. The uh, one other one was out and I couldn't find any other ones. Like they said they had fettuccine and a few different types, but spaghetti was the only one I could find. So I bought six things of spaghetti, which I'm using two this week. So the other four are like stock up. And then the chips, the um, French vanilla creamer. I got some plain yogurt so I can make smoothies for myself. Salsa so I can do the bell pepper like nacho chips. Milk. Um, two things of strawberries. A thing of paper plates. Cantaloupe. Two things of spinach which are going to be for the salads for this week. I believe these are organic zucchinis. The red peppers. Organic broccoli. Uh, cucumbers. String, string beans. 
cilantro, this was Thunder Cut Pork Loin, um, which was on sale for $1.59 per pound. You guys can see on there, I ended up picking about six, I spent about $6 on that. And then this was 85% um, lean round, I believe. And that was $2.50 per pound, which is a really good price for that. And then I also picked up three things of blackberries, some organic oranges, grapes, the thyme, the batteries, mozzarella cheese, bagels, shrimp, again, for doing shrimp scampi, uh, six Roma tomatoes, 10 pink lady, pink lady apples, I believe they're called, um, and then some organic Whoa. pears, Granny Smith apples, organic cauliflower. My dad also got coffee, olive oil spray, two things of marinara, the coffee filters, also a stock up thing too, because we won't go through these quite that often, but we are out. Um, or just about out and then to I guess a splurge my mom asked for to go out for ice cream and we decided to buy ice cream from Aldi so this actually saved us money instead because it would be cheaper buying two things of ice cream than going out and getting ice cream um, and then also almonds milk because I'm like I said doing those smoothies for myself for breakfast organic grape tomatoes I think or cherry grape tomatoes organic bananas and I believe that is it so that is what we picked up this week for the grocery hauls like I said too you guys saw this stuff down there so yep that was it like I said right around 150 bucks uh, spent in total for everything but like I said too I should be getting back the four dollars from those batteries as well but several things were actually stock up stuff so we spend a little bit more we normally like at right around a hundred but like I said, a little bit more stuff for stocking up items. So now I get the fun of putting all of this away. So guys, this is about 10.10. And um, I'm actually not going walking tomorrow, which will be pretty nice. Uh, because my friend, uh, well it's actually not, it's supposed to get warmer. Like today's I think supposed to be one of the last cold days today or tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be like really warm the rest of the week. But so I'm kind of happy about that that we're not walking because I'm not sure. Today was all rainy and everything, right? And I think there's only supposed to be two days during the week where it's supposed to be like partly cloudy, although all the other days are supposed to be like really sunny for the next like week and a half. And so that would be really nice, you know, upper 60s and sunny. But I'm not sure about tomorrow. I don't remember what tomorrow was. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just we're not going walking because my friend had uh, has to babysit tomorrow in the morning. So she is not going to be able to go walking. So we're not planning on that. And I don't know. It's kind of nice, though, because normally I stay up kind of semi late ish, like on Sunday nights, only because I end up watching like the, we watch Fear the Walking Dead and the Talking Dead. So it just got over a little bit ago. And so now I'm like, oh, well, now I have to go to bed because she'd be coming, you know, in the morning at eight o'clock but no I'm good I could stay up a little bit later but I am officially going to start getting things like accomplished I think next this coming week it was weird because of like with last week or not last week like two weeks ago because of spring break and then I was like oh, okay I'll get back into doing everything like this week and I don't know this week I was just kind of out of it like I was really good with like dinner and everything like that but I don't know I still was just kind of out of it a little bit and two guys it's the weather sometimes like you know how sometimes the weather just kind of like you don't want to do anything because it's all gloomy and everything outside and finally like if the weather's supposed to be nice I'm hoping that that'll kind of get me more into doing things and stuff like that too because it won't be freezing cold too because normally it's cold and I'm like under a blanket all day long and like it doesn't make me want to do anything you know especially too if I go walking like on Friday when I went walking I came back and it was so cold I took a shower I was still freezing cold and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go under blankets and I probably ended up watching like Netflix or something like that for like an hour because I was so cold <laughs> because it's you know but when if it's warm and it's sunny out I feel like then I'm like you know what I don't want to be under blankets all day you know like that's just it's not a day to like snuggle under your blankets those are the, the rainy days but the sunny days you like I don't know I feel like I want to do something so if the weather's looking good hopefully that will help encourage me to get some stuff done like vlogs and um just other like cleaning stuff too my room got a little bit out of hand not too bad but just a little bit and like my laundry and stuff like that too. Like I did my laundry on Wednesday, but I didn't get anything put away. So I have to get all my laundry put away and there's just a few, you know, there's some stuff in my room that I need to take care of. But for the most part, I'm hoping that that will kind of be what tomorrow will be. 
and that I can get uh, recording hopefully earlier throughout the days too. Like today was pretty good I guess um, because I recorded earlier and kind of throughout the day a little bit too. But I will talk to you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new we'd love if you, subs you would subscribe. And I will talk to all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys. <coughs> Hey!